morning. Day three of our uh, father-daughter hunt. And um, yesterday was quite an exciting day. All four of the dogs, you know, we have three young dogs and then Ranger, four years old, and then uh, three-year-old Pepper, and two-year, soon to be two-year-old Piper, and uh, one-year-old Sally did an outstanding job on training this little bear. So uh, as you may have seen in the video, or may not have seen yet, uh, the bear came down almost on top of me and uh, my running mate, Bob, and uh, off they went. The four of them screamed at another 300 yards or so and popped it back up another tree, which, uh, which we got to and had some nice video taken of the bear and the dogs, you know, that did an outstanding job. Uh, and then uh, somewhere between that tree and our way out of the woods, my lovely and wonderful daughter lost the receiver to her microphone, her wireless mic in the woods. I said, Sam, I said, you know, I'm putting on a dry shirt, and taking a drink of water, and I'm going back up the mountain. She says, no, Dad, no, Dad, please don't do that. It's okay, I'll buy another one, I'll buy another one. No, 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 you won't. I hate losing stuff, and you know, the woods is great. If you, you know, if you could somehow collect all the gear that's in the woods right now, you could, you could fill, uh, I don't even know how many barns. And I'm talking about equipment like radios, GPSs, dog collars, and everything else that we have a tendency to lose. So I suggested to her, Sam, why not put everything in a pack? And that way, if you lose the pack, I can find that stuff a lot easier for you if you do something like that. So anyway, make a long story short, I went back into the mountain again, but she had mentioned to me it had some cordage attached. So on the way out, instead of looking on the ground, I started looking in the trees and in the brush. And uh, sure enough, hanging about 18 inches off the ground was the receiver, which uh, she has attached to her camera. Today we're off again on day three, and uh, hopefully everything goes as it has the last two days which has been putting bears in the trees, and that's what we're here to do. I don't know. Weak, weak strike. I don't think I'm going to take it. They're on it. They've opened up. They're moving out. They're all together. This shouldn't be much of a cold trail. That's a pretty fresh track. Okay, and I'll stay here and see what's going on. Piper coming out here. Piper, Pepper, no signal on Ranger, and no signal on Sally. Or signal on Sally. Where's Ranger? Looks like Piper and Sally didn't make it. Come on, Piper, come on! He went down there? Down that driveway. Good. Hey, hey. We don't see if you can get a strike. I'll turn around, gather him up, and we'll regroup. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> I have no idea what happened. Somewhere, I'll stay here. <laughs> We're old, but we keep after it, don't we?
No, oh, they're, 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 they're history now. They're gone now, 700. Yeah, we're good. They're on the brook. All right, I know where we got to go. Got to go back out, take a right. Okay. Go ahead, I'll let you out. All right. We can't even go him going, Sam. That way. Well, Today we're getting them from the they other side. They got the backtrack. Gotcha. They ran the backtrack because it was so fresh. Young dogs got excited. And uh, they run the backtrack, so I circled the bait on foot with Ranger. And uh, he picked up the, uh, he picked up the, he picked up the track, along with Paul's dog there, and uh, away we went. Simple as that. Nice. Now we got it going the right way. The next challenge. Bob just chimed in. He's up. He's around. Okay. He's where he's here. How about you, Bob? Uh, okay, we got it going the right way now. They're headed for uh, Mahoney. Okay, yeah, yeah, we just headed over that way and headed back towards the house. I'll look to, I'll stop for a minute and see where they're going. Yep, they left the bait site up here and they headed right for Mahoney. Uh, so maybe over in the area, someplace where the bog bait is that way. Yeah, what bait your side off of? Oh, that end of the road bait. How about you, Bob? How about you, Bob? Get a copy. Here, Sam, come here. Put this in your shirt pocket. You gonna wear that shirt? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna bring a dog. Shit, they weren't that. They're not that far from where we started. They're not far from that far from the bait site. Shit. Yeah, look at this. How far? There's the bait site, right back there. No. There they are, right there. See them? Yeah. And, uh, shit, we're way, we're way down here. Yeah, but measure the distance between the bait site and them. One more mountain. There they are. Having a picnic with Daddy, huh? Oh, yeah. Got my baby girl right there. Cheers. <laughs> Four bears, three days, good hunting. Father, daughter hunting. Couldn't ask for better. Well, that's yep, the truth. Had some good company to join us this afternoon. My good friends, uh, Paul and Carol, and their dog. 
So I'll do a nice job. Can't ask for better than that. And here we are, 50 years later, still hunting together. And neither <laughs> one of us killed each other yet. So I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs>